Finding the key to effective marketing is difficult. Some companies do it better than others. Some companies have wonderful, amazing ads that cost as much as the moon, uh, but some companies can do it quite cheap. I've got a uh, marketing wizard, a man who's run many companies, who's helped countless companies with their marketing. Randy Kirk, best-selling author and pretty okay guy, friend of the show. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Uh, I'm glad you finally used the introduction I wrote for you. It's important in the context of this video. So I've got a product, Randy, and I need to advertise it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about my product and you can tell me what we can do. All right. Now, real quick estimate. How many companies have you helped with their marketing in promotional materials or otherwise? Would you well say over... that that number is Go under a thousand or over? I mean, what are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> talking about over 400. Okay. So you have an idea how this works. So I want my marketing to reach a bunch of people, right? Yes. And I need it to reach, I'd like it to go viral. Can you make, you can make that happen probably? Well, virality, uh, as with all things having to do with virality, <laughs> is something that you can't always guarantee that you can manufacture. You can't um, guarantee it. You can't but. guarantee it. So you do a lot of things. Typically, you're going to do a lot of things, test them, A-B test them, end up with something that is going to go viral because you've tested it to death. Or it may be that you try five things, and out of those five, you A-B test one of them. Anyway, yes, you can usually get something up into some pretty big numbers given enough time and money. And given the right team working on it. So... Yeah. This ad, I want it to reach everybody, but really I want it to reach the right people. People yes. who don't already love my product, people who may not who may not have any good feelings towards my company or my product. And really what I want is I want to cement that my product is as serious as the competition's product. As serious. You know, okay. As serious. If I've got a new phone, a new a new smartphone, yes. I want people to go, you know what? I normally would only buy Samsung or Apple, but I'm going to buy a Brian phone instead. You're, I want, you're, a, I, you're an actual player. It's, right. it's, 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 there's immediately, they can immediately see that the value is at least in the game. Yeah. If my, if, if customers buy my phone and their friends laugh at them, I want them to be able to yeah. say, you realize this is the best phone, right? Right. Okay. Right. All right. Obviously I'm going to want celebrities in my marketing. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, preferably celebrities of all different kinds. Hmm. Yeah? Okay. Right. Um, now, I should mention that my budget for this is, well, I mean, you probably have a number in mind, but um, zero is what I was thinking. Zero. Okay. Yeah, you want yeah. To Does that work? No money, and you want to reach a massive population of people that could care less about your product now. You want to be seen as serious immediately. And uh, and you want the best possible team to work on it, and you want to you want it to be viral, and uh, you have no money. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I should clarify on the money thing. On the money thing, I just assumed that the celebrities would pay me oh. and bring their own teams of experts to oh, make okay. these viral campaigns. Uh, because you know, you see Apple, you see Mac products in movies. Surely those movies paid Mac, right? Yes, they did. Yes. No. Uh, Coca-Cola, with the label prominently turned out, surely those movie makers paid Coca-Cola, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, but I really want that, Randy. So he here's what's going to happen. Here's what we're going to do instead. Have you seen this? I didn't see this. Rock and and driving the General it. Lee. Is the actual None guy from the Dukes of Hazard, John, John Schneider. Schneider from yes, the Dukes of Hazard, from the Dukes of Hazard at the wheel. How crazy and is I don't that? Give the big <laughs> now, there is no indication that Tesla paid for this. Oh, I'm that sure even, they did not. Yeah. That they that they gave him the truck, and I really think they didn't because I thought, what a great opportunity! It's all glass on top. You don't have to address the Confederate flag part. But don't worry, that's on the rolling tonneau cover. Oh, good. Oh, good. So that's still there. This, first of all, was presented to, well, it's an arena, so at least 10,000 people, right? Right. A lot of those could be 
you know, pickup people. I don't know who all Kid Rock appeals to exactly. He's from Michigan, so he's got some Motor City fans for sure. Right, right. And now it's all over the internet. This is pretty exciting. This particular view video only has 74,000, but this is way down the list. All the other ones had commentary or were on other platforms where it was harder to see what's going on. You know, you've got, he paid, somebody paid for that truck. They truck. paid to yeah. purchase and then paid a team to come up with the ad, paid some, somebody's job was to get John Schneider out there to do this. I mean. Yeah, and it's not like this is the first time. Uh, somebody, there's some Kim lady. I don't mm -hmm. know. She's had a number. Of, is that, her last name is some weird Kurt, mm -hmm. Kurdash something. I mm -hmm. forget. Anyway, yeah, she's, she's a, out, a film star. Yes. <laughs> somebody said that she would normally charge, I forget, something like $5 million for a product endorsement of any kind just to be seen with the product. And uh, I think, I don't think Tesla's paid her anything for the at least four or five uh, stills that I've seen or short videos that I've seen. I don't think she was, I don't think, I doubt if Tesla's paid her a dime. Just a thought. I don't know. So here is just a variety of pictures of Kim Kardashian with okay. the, with her, with her cyber truck. And yeah, it is, you, I would say you can't buy advertising like this. But you can. Yes, you could. It's yes. just prohibitively expensive. Right. I don't know what celebrities are charging these days for endorsements, but it is easily in the millions. And it certainly varies by how much mention you want. But something like this is absolutely going to blow up. And then we have some late night comedian guy. I forget, you know, he used to be a big star on late night, and now he owns some garage or so, he does some TV program where he shows off his oh, hundreds and hundreds. Yes, hundreds, yes, of hundreds course. <laughs> of course. So it doesn't surprise me when you've got Car Wow and, uh, and you know, Carmudgeon and Marquez Brownlee. None of those surprise me. This is their job. This is what That's they what do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Leno is just a car <laughs> fanatic. He's not right. even a fan. He's a true full-blown fanatic. So when he got, the, when, it, what an easy fit. You go, well, who should we call? It's called Jay. I mean, he'll he'll go crazy. And the same goes for, but uh, but all the celebrities want to be seen in one. It's a big deal. And this is a mass market car. These, a lot of the celebrities we're seeing are jumping on the hype. Yeah. These cars will not be common in a year or two. They won't maybe be sexy in a year or two, but they are today. And uh, I was asked by Will from Tesla Jigsaw, why are they showing the Cybertruck in England if they're not going to sell it here? And I said, because if you want to get warm bodies into a, a showroom, there is no better way to do it. And it wasn't in showrooms. It was in very public places parked next to a Model Y, right, right. a Quicksilver Model Y, the best selling car in the world. By the way, if this one's too radical and you can't get it yet, check out this one. And again, I'd like to say this is the kind of advertising you can't buy. You can, you just can't afford it. It's impractically expensive. Would you yes. agree with that? And PR, there's no doubt about it. PR, and I have done massive amounts of PR for myself and for my clients over the years. There is absolutely nothing that beats PR in terms of uh, the return on investment. Typically, the inv the investment might be zero or even negative because sometimes you can get a a partner to do the PR with you, um, so you have no cost involved at all except your creative time. Um, and and so yeah, if you can come up with a great PR stunt, um, sometimes that'll put you on that'll put you you know on on the road to riches. I've said in the book the Elon Musk method. Elon Musk is the greatest, maybe the greatest. PR guy ever. Um, and it all started with some little evergreen. I forget how big it was going to be that he wanted to, he wanted to land on Mars um, and have it showing growing on Mars in order to get the United States back into the space business. 
He never actually pulled off the stunt, but I've never heard anyone that can beat that as a possible stunt in order to get PR. That is the best I have ever heard. That was very exciting. That was, yeah, just put a greenhouse with a webcam and that's it. Yes. And uh, and the Russian uh, space, <laughs> space uh, gentleman right. at Roscosmos uh, laughed him out of the room. <laughs> and as the story goes, he got on the plane and he's sitting there sketching and scheming. And his travel companions, I don't remember who they were at the time, looked at him and said, oh, no, you know what he's doing, right? Oh, because he. Going to build his own. Going to build his crazy. own. Uh, I do want to thank you, Randy. Uh, before everyone logs out, there is a funny story coming up after the sign off. So I did want to say a big thanks to Randy for joining me. Uh, join him as well over at the the Randy Kirk channel videos channel uh, where he makes all kinds of great videos, has great guests, some fascinating people, people you may recognize from other channels, because what can I say? We all get around. Uh, the rest of you guys, like, subscribe, do the usual. Maybe uh, throw me a buck or five on uh, Patreon, as a patron, on YouTube, as a channel member, on X, as a subscriber. All of those help me get towards my mission, which is uh, not losing my butt while doing all these amazing adventures and research and all that. So everybody else, like, subscribe, do the usual, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots after this joke I shall tell. Now, Randy, you've heard this joke before, but this is a true story. I was in Texas. A fan said, I'd really love to, you know, buy you dinner, whatever. He gets into town. It's too late. He's like, you know, we just got to our hotel. We'd love to meet you, but we have both had a glass of wine. I said, you know what? I'll, I'll come pick you up. We'll go to Waffle House. So we go there and his wife has, she's not in Tesla like we are, but she's trying to be Randy. She's asking good questions. She cares. And then she says, you know what? Here, hang on. Do you know either of these guys? And it was the Elon Musk mission. And I said, do I know either of those guys? So I can show you my channel. Uh, I had uh, Lars on a week ago and Randy on today. So yes, I know. I do know those gentlemen. She was very impressed. Very impressed. And they, and well, she should be. Well, she should be. Yeah, I said, um, here, let me take that book from you and I'll get it autographed. Never took their name or number or anything, so, but I just kept it. No, that last part was not true, but the rest of it was true. It was a very, I was like, huh, wow, best-selling author, Randy Kirk. Best-selling. Very exciting. Best-selling. All right, so guys, now you are free to go.